up, everybody? Welcome back to All New Nerds. We have another podcast episode um, for a little film you may know of, uh, as John Watts and Andrew Garfield do, um, <laughs> and it's Spider-Man Lotus. And today I have two on um, two of the cast members. Um, again, we have Tu and Powell, who plays Gwen Stacy, and Mariah Brooklyn, who plays Mary Jane Watson. Um, also, Mar- thanks to Mariah, we have the Book of Boba Fett trailer. So, how are you both? Oh my and god! Welcome yeah, to the welcome podcast, to and thank you so much for I being here. You. I got you. Oh yeah, that's all Mariah. It was all Mariah. It was literally six minutes after I, I posted my costume. Posting. Oh, I know. I, yeah, it was. I was like, wow. I was yeah, like yeah, DMing yeah. everybody. I was like, guys, guys, <laughs> if you want to tell me something, just tell me. If you want to hire me, just hire me. I know Lucas the Lucas film, where are you at? For real. Oh, no. oh my god. Mara Jade. Insane. Oh, I, I used to cosplay yes. Mara Jade when I was a kid. And I used no to go way. to other conventions for her. Oh my god. That's yeah. insane. Have you ever been to Star Wars Celebration? This is just already going off topic, but whatever. Have you been to Star Wars Celebration <laughs> like, or anything? Yet? Yeah, screw that fandom. <laughs> screw that fandom. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, that's 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 crazy though. Actually, someone, someone, one of the fans. Oh, we also have fan questions, so we'll get to those later. But uh, we got we got a Star Wars one, so so we'll, oh. we'll get a little bit of get a little bit of Star Wars. Um, so to start us off. I just want to talk about the trailer because that's what's most recent and everybody's freaking out about it. And it's been insane. That night was insane. We were waiting a long time, but you know, I know Gavin was hard at work. We, we love him for it. He and, was. Um, yeah. He was going through the trenches. <laughs> he was. He was. I think he said he was like up for like pretty much two days straight or something like that. Yeah, yeah. like 48 hours. We were Damn. Like checking, we're like, are you alive? Yeah, yeah, just checking in. Yeah, oh. hey, Gavin, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I was hey. not the yeah. nice. I was like, "Where's the trailer?" I, have <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was I was um messaging more, and I'm like, "Oh, it, where is uh is, how is the how's the trailer coming on?" Because they were live to um before before the trailer dropped, and uh, he's like, "Oh, any minute now, any minute now." That's what everybody was saying, like, "Oh, any minute now." <laughs> it ended up being like a yeah, like a minutes. three hour delay or whatever, but I was. In the middle of watching Dune. You're at a movie, right? Yeah. I was at a movie. Yeah. And I was like, Timmy Tim was in his prime, okay? And I was like, am I really? But I had like a timer on my phone. I was like, I got, I can't miss this. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay. It's on HBO Max. We're good. Right, right. Um, but I leave and I'm just like in the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm like, where the hell is this trailer? <laughs> and I sat there. In the you got to go to the bathroom to do it? Oh, my God. And then oh, I was like. I'm so sorry. What? I don't care anymore. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm gonna watch TV yeah. Too. okay, yeah, okay. yeah. It, I assume it like must have the trailer must have dropped like after you, like after the movie finished because yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, I was hyped up from Dune. I totally I, forgot that the trailer yeah, it was, was a hype day. I yeah, I was like, oh, that's right. And then I just look and it's like, it was Not one there. of the coolest nights ever. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. What do you th- did you like Dune? Just Dune just curious. Was beautiful yeah um it was. i think it was so that cool. like i think uh the cast was so spot on with what i think i know that i know that people who get casted in multiple movies in a year it can get tiring like seeing the same people in all these movies. yeah literally timothy yeah. had like had like two movies the same weekend he had french yeah. dispatch as well yeah um, which crazy which so. i personally as an actor i don't get pissed about because i know that mm-hmm. that's how it goes like even yeah no i don't for new people like that's how the industry works. Like if you yeah, get a run for sure. streak, like hell fucking yeah. yeah. Like good for them. Good for them. I know. Yeah, the, the he, acting, he he killed it. He oh killed it this God. year. I know. Holy shit. It's good. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. Good. Yeah. Um. Okay. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> Let's get back to Spider Man. Okay. Um. What were your kind of reactions to the trailer? I know you guys. Yeah. What 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 were the what were the feelings and stuff? If you guys kind of want to talk about that a little bit. Um, so I, Two in, sure. I had special requested Gavin. I was like, don't send me anything from the trailer before it comes out. Right. I want to be surprised. Um, so I didn't know anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then people are texting me. They're like, yeah, you're in the trailer a lot. I was like, I'm, <laughs> she was Zendaya in this trailer. I was okay. Zendaya. For, yeah. For real. Yeah. <laughs> That's like all my scenes. <laughs> <Literally> all <laughs> Basically. 
Um, but I didn't know anything going into it. And I actually filmed my reaction, but I had never watched a reaction video to something before. I didn't know some people talked. So I'm just quietly just like the whole time. Um, yeah. But dude, the end with the goblin, they had talked a that, little bit to me. Now, did you know about that before? No, I knew I a did. little bit. I knew no. a little bit because it was- Really? Oh my no. God. I, I would think that all you all you would know. Oh my no. God. No, That's dude, insane. Oh in the God. So often. I have to call him like every three weeks and I'm yeah. like, hey, can you like tell me what's going on? That's I'm crazy to me. This? And I'm like, no. That's crazy to me. Wow. Okay. Well, it, but that, it was wow. really, yeah. it was really cool to see it for the first time for me too. Like, even though we weren't like prepared for it, it was like, mm -hmm. cause okay, cause seeing your reaction was one of the first oh. reactions that I saw. Of, like, <laughs> oh, really? That part. That's crazy. And that was so special because it was like it literally. We got like chills. We were like, cause that's how we reacted. We were like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Gavin straight up said he said multiple times there is no villain in it. Green Goblin is not in the movie. I know. Movie. He's a liar. <laughs> Bro. What a liar, dude. No, he no. It is no. still okay. a more emotionally um yeah. plot. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. It's a drama. will be in it. Right. Right. I yeah. mean, like, obviously, we saw in the trailer, we're doing Death of Gwen Stacy. Like, yes. You can't really not have the green I, goblin. You, you, can't. Just like, you can't. I mean, like, <laughs> what, what are we doing here? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. Um, But actually, that was kind of leading into my 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 next question so i don't know how much of the scene you shot because i know they're making the 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 goblin costume now yeah. um but how does it feel to recreate such an iconic scene and like the defining sadly the defining <laughs> moment of gwen stacy i would say or i think most people would say um is her death for but for me it was so crazy yeah um like i had worn the costume a few times um just because I wanted to dress like Gwen Stacy and then I wear a variation of it for some of my scenes, but to put on the costume and then be like there with Spider-Man on this bridge. Um, it was the middle of the night that we shot. It was, it was insane. Gavin and I were so hyped the entire time. I brought my copy of, um, I have the trade of the death of the Stacys. So I brought that and we're like, got it right here. Over, I got it over it. here. Yep. At yes, it. <laughs> it's so good. So, um, which was that was actually really cool because, um, I on set am very much a person that's like, what if we did it this way? Um, and Gavin is really great about like listening and taking like that and being like, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. Like, yeah, um, trying new things. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, stuff, yeah. I, exactly. So with me having Death the Stacys on hand, um, we got to look at the panels as we were shooting. And like cool. try to find uh, angles and stuff that were similar to that. Um, yeah. So that I think like as first and foremost a comic book fan, that was so special. <laughs> that was so cool to see just how careful they were being about everything. Um, but dude, it's stressful pretending to be dead. I was like, <laughs> I, was thinking, I bet. Like, How's a movie? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, all right, now hold your breath for like <laughs> yeah. Minutes, you know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they yeah they could have got a they could have got like a um you know like in, in some movies or, or tv shows they'll get like a, a like a complete like dummy kind of of like the person i mean i so might have the money for it that'd be crazy if, if they had a, if they if they had like a life-size like dummy of you i don't know how i would feel about that either but that'd be that'd be wild but yeah i imagine that kind of being difficult though we'd like playing, sell it playing a dead body <laughs> yeah yeah no the highest bidder the highest bidder no 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 that'd be good that'd be I, I, I none of that, none of that. take it back take it back take it back roll it back in roll it back in roll it back in yeah oh my god um yeah anyways okay um i just wanted to get that out of the way because i mean the trailer is just it get that the whole night was insane. Away. it was insane it was insane oh, um I didn't even know he was cast. No, I, me neither. I just followed him like last night. Yeah. What? Do you, what? Like, wait, Gavin like, keeps when, you guys Gavin such in the and so in the dark. That's insane. like I found out through Eunice that he. Oh was my god. Him. I was like, he Not replied you. to my. I story. I knew I knew I knew him from I um from IMDb. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, oh shit, I need to follow. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah, he was from um he was on IMDb. That's how that's how I was kind of aware of him at first. Yeah, we should. He's in the Lotus IMDb, is what I was saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I might I might even know. I mean, I didn't know who he was playing, obviously. But 
but uh before you guys did so that's crazy um anyways um all right so i kind of want to bring it back to kind of the beginning um of your experiences with the film um so i know you two have different stories in regards to this question but um what was the audition process like and do you want to talk about um kind of how gavin approached you two about the project mariah go or yeah, mariah I, whoever can go first mariah if you want to go first um so back in like december i was like i want to dye my hair gray and i was like gray is the color like i'm gonna go all out and i'm like at the hair so i'm not the hair salon sorry the freaking <laughs> like hair place and the hair place i like i like right next to the gray there's red and i'm like I used to cosplay as Mara Jade when I was like 10, 11, and I like dyed my hair in like bright red for that. And I was like, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> I was like, let's go. And so, and at this time, I was working a job where I wasn't allowed to have colored hair. I didn't know that. Oh, that. what? Like, you weren't like, allowed to? Oh, okay. Because I was working right. in sales, so they call it like the oh, okay. thing or whatever. The yeah, thing. yeah, 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 yeah. And I see. so I was like, damn really gambling with my persona at the time and i was like mm, whatever and so i dye my hair red and like that same day i get a dm from warden like an hour later i get a dm from warden and at this point i'd been following warden on instagram for several years because i was already involved in the film industry yeah um, you knew so each other right or kind of we what didn't know saying? each other actually we just knew okay. of each other oh of each other okay he was like fanboying, you know, he followed my account, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, I don't know if you even act, but you look like you're ripped straight out of the comics. So like if you true. want to that's true. Audition, that's true, that's true, that's true like, right if there. You want to send in an audition, like this is how it goes. And yeah. I was like, and I, I was like in the middle of a huge milestone in my life. So I didn't reply for like 15 minutes and he got, he got, like freaked out he was like oh, i scared the hell out of her like oh like because you like, like opened it and then and then never responded yeah i was like oh, i was like, just yeah. taking my time because i was also looking up who gavin was because mm -hmm. um dude is 18 or was 17 at the time yeah yep. and i was like just trying to make yep. sure that i wasn't gonna be like kidnapped or anything <laughs> <laughs> and then sure enough i was just like blown away by everything and then i just took this second and okay, I never, I never mentioned this in any stories, but I think it's actually pretty awesome for me now. So like, okay, an exclusive. Right. Yeah, but exclusive hot take. Exclusive hot take. Okay. So like my ex at the time, they were like, "No, you shouldn't do that. Like, you're not MJ. Like, that's not gonna go anywhere." He was like, "Literally what?" He was like, "You, I don't even." He was like, "Can you even act?" And I was like. <laughs> Bitch, oh, I'm about oh, to blow this up. Yeah, yeah. I can't do something. I'm like, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So yeah. that was not the main uh inspiration for the audition. Um, I knew that I wanted to do this. Like, I replied to Warden as soon as possible, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> yeah. And then it was wild because I like. You know that the the anxious feeling you get from sending in an audition and then like you're like this could literally change everything like i don't know where this is gonna go and like he, at the time there where it's like already went and the movie's not even out yet and Crazy. and the fact that the suit had so much hype already i was like this is really special um and so yeah i sent in my audition and i just remember I got like the email that I like had received or that I got the role and I literally was like dancing on my kitchen counter like full <laughs> 10 things I hate about you style. I was like, let's fucking yes. go. <laughs> and I was so hyped. So yeah, that's how that's it That's awesome. Oh my God. I can't even imagine. Yeah, Tuan, how is it for you? <clears throat> uh, for me, um, so I've always like been a huge Spider-Man fan. I talk about that a lot, but I was yep. following Spider-Man cosplayer and anytime he opened up his account to questions, he would get asked if he was going to do the Lotus suit. And he would be, like, really passive aggressive about it every time. And he'd be like, I'm not making the fucking Lotus suit. Stop asking me. Like, I already said. Oh, my God. Okay. And it was so funny. Um, like, it was the only question of his I would always read because it was always so aggressive. <laughs> right. And finally, I was like, what's Lotus? 
Um, and so I looked it up, and at that time, I think it was literally the day they had announced Sean as Harry. Um, oh, wow, okay. I looked at the pictures, and I was like, oh, my God. This is so comic accurate. Yeah, Sean, Sean is Harry. Sure yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of, I guess. At that yeah. point, the post on his page, I was like, holy crap. Um, yeah. And I immediately... Everyone was... I immediately DM'd him and I was like, hey, you're basing this off of Spider-Man Blue. Um, Gwen Stacy's pretty prevalent in that. Um, mm-hmm. Do you need someone who can play <laughs> Gwen Stacy? I'd, I'd love to be a part of this. And he told me later that he saw it like in his request and he got really freaked out because he was like, we haven't announced that Gwen's in this. How does she know? Like, <laughs> it's based on... I mean, like, on come on. Blue, Blue is like... yeah. <laughs> What was the story about Glenn? Oh, like, shit. Man. Those read books? What? <laughs> oh. Wait, other people have read that no, book? No, yeah, oh, good. shit. He's, he's so good. Time. He's so good. I'm just messing with him. He's so awesome. We love him. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. But he, like, sent a screenshot of my message, and he was like, I don't know how to reply. I'm just not going to reply. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so he didn't. <laughs> Imagine if he oh, just my... listened and read the whole time. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> No. So he, he never replied, and then he posted on his story like a week later, like, "Hey guys, I get a lot of DMs. If I'm not replying, you can DM Warden." And so mm-hmm. I basically DM the same thing to Warden, and he did reply. <laughs> uh, he's like, "Yeah, we're gonna have auditions in about two weeks. Um, you can audition then." Um, I hadn't acted since I was 15. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. I didn't know anything about what that looked like. I literally love that so much. It's one of my favorite things ever. Because she just I have I have an acting question. But... In this. Yeah, I I bet. I mean, you guys, even from the trailer, like you guys, like it looks it looks amazing. So yeah. Um, but Can't sorry wait. for the New York sound effects. Totally. Oh no, you're good. It it's like it immerses you a little bit. It does. A little bit more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those oh, whistles, right? I know. Oh, oh damn. damn, those notes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, so I went on Amazon. I bought a tripod, a light, and a mic, and I was like, "That's all I need, right?" Wow. Yeah. Um, and they announced that they were doing auditions on February thirteenth. I messaged a friend of mine to come over on the fourteenth on Valentine's Day. We filmed it that night, and I sent the email. Valentine's Day? You filmed it on Valentine's Day? I filmed it on Valentine's Day, and I sent the email, Your Funny Valentine. Oh, Um, my God. And I I think I later found out I was the first person to submit. I wasn't the first one they watched. Um, Right. But it was really crazy, too, because (laughs) (laughs) casting closed on the 1st of March, something like that. Yeah. And, um... They ended up casting me on like the 27th of February. Um, oh, wow. I was standing in my kitchen. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah we both kitchen. were in the kitchen. We found oh, out. Oh, that's crazy. Son, Gavin, and Warden all followed me at the same time, mm-hmm. just out Dang. of nowhere. And that's when I knew. Dang. Oh, oh, I just oh. got a really good detail. This is actually. Okay, okay. Juicy okay, detail. So, Say it. Uh, the first time. Okay, the way that I found out that I got casted was because Tuwin followed me, and I literally didn't even check my email. I didn't see that Gavin said anything. I just saw Tuwin, and I was like, uh-huh. I got the part. Well, yeah, it was Tuwin. Because I knew she was Gwen. Who was first? Tuwin, Tuwin you were first, right? I mean, was first. first. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was the other way around. Okay. Well, actually. Got it, got it. Yeah, I got casted after they had already looked at so many other MJs. Like, right, even right. In his DM, yeah, I think like no pressure. Like, we have other people in case we need it, but like, they if told you me want, because you're the like, one. You're yeah. the one. Yeah, that's crazy. they sent me the message. He didn't even email me. He DM'd me. Yeah, <laughs> he just sent me a DM in the morning, on the first. Um, yep. So after that, I was like, "Well, who do you have for MJ?" And he was like, "Yeah, we're not sure yet, and you hadn't dyed <laughs> your hair yes. yet." And so it was after casting closed. And so Uh they were talking about like one or two other girls that they liked, but just didn't have the same vibes as the MJ they were looking for. I think it was more of a Kirsten Kirsten Dunst vibe than it was the comics that Mariah gets to bring to the screen. And so when you dyed your hair and they saw it, they were like, oh, fuck that. Like, Yeah, yeah. um, I like the way you tell that story a lot. That's good. (laughs) It was really special. It was really special. And it also, sounds like, yeah. already going by MJ or going as MJ for so long. It was right. Just, yeah. That was your nickname, right? It's yeah. Mariah Joy. Is That's crazy. So, like, 
Oh my god. And then uh I like already dressed like her. Like that the duality between us and then like the comic book characters was not <laughs> far fetched. Like it was oh very this is just fun. us. Yeah. Like- I know, yeah, straight up. Damn. That's insane. That is insane. Yeah, I guess it all it, it, it really did work out. That's so they kind of hit the jackpot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for real. Really <laughs> um okay, so I guess we'll move on. Um Twin, so I understand you used to work in a comic book store. I did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I know you're obviously a big a big comic book fan. So um I if you want to talk about kind of how that love for comics kind of came about and, and a little bit about that. Yeah, totally. So um my dad was a huge comic book fan and he had a collection and stuff. Um, and my dad's a really cool guy. I love him a lot. Um, and Shout out to his dad. Actually, yeah, absolutely. Um, actually, when I was three, he took us to the theaters to go see Spider-Man 2. Um, oh, that was traumatizing. Man. But it worked out because now I really like Spider-Man. Um, yeah. <laughs> But that was kind of my introduction to superheroes. And then when he would go, because he would be a monthly subscriber at the local comic book store, whenever he would go, he would take us. And he's like, you can go to the dollar bins in the back and pick out comics. And so the two characters that I just was really attached to at first were Silver Sable, um, whose actually first appearance is in Spider-Man. Turn up. Solid, uh, solid, yep. Well, I guess three characters. Silver Sable, Spider-Man. And then Jason Todd is Robin specifically. And whenever my dad would travel um, overseas for his job, when I missed him, I would go sneak into his comic book collection. And oh, my God. I would read more than anything else was Death in the Family. Uh, um, oh, wow. Okay. That's a dark like, one, but okay. Yeah, I like read that right. so many times. All right. No, don't. If you know me, it makes sense. It, it yeah, makes no, no, it's a great, it it a great story. I'm not judging you at all. No, no, no. It, it's a. It, I, I am totally on board with that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's really that's cool great. now because the characters that I find my favorites even now are still Jason Todd and Gwen Stacy. <laughs> yes, Jason Todd. <laughs> all right, Jason all right. <laughs> yeah, wait. Why? Why? Um, I'm curious. Why? Why? Uh, why? Why do you like Jason Todd specifically as Robin the best? So Ooh. okay, Damn. I could talk about this for hours. Yeah. Um, Questions on the fly. I, I, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> but I think um, so. I'm an identical twin. Um, okay. And I am very different from my family. Uh, my dad is military. Both my parents were cops for a while. My mom was a um, cold case homicide detective. Um, she, uh, yeah, she, she's also, yeah, we don't say that on an interview. Anyways, my parents are very yeah, interesting. Um, and my identical twin is perfect for them. She's very much in that same vein of like, military and leadership in that kind of um, world. And so I got to watch as her relationships with my parents very much reflected Dick Grayson and Bruce, um, Mm -hmm. where because she was in that same field, they asked a lot from her. Um, And she put a lot of pressure on herself to kind of be that perfect version of that. And um, it's their their relationship just really reflects that and even her successes i think are very similar to dick grayson um meanwhile my dad and i uh we have like the same humor i was always seen as the rebellious kid and um jason todd i think represented me and especially with um his relationship with bruce and my relationship with my dad um, I thought it was so cool. It's really funny because like people ask me, and they're like, "Why do you like Batman?" I'm like, "It makes me like my family." And they're like, "Are you okay?" And I'm That's like, crazy. Have, yeah, wait, hold on. Don't worry hold about on. it. Don't worry about it." <laughs> oh um, but I think that's part of why I like Jason Todd, um, specifically as Robin, um, before huh. he, in my opinion, got failed by Bruce. Um, yeah, but for sure. I, I love him as Robin because. It's just fun. Like what Yeah, no, that's a great happen? answer. No, I, I, did not, I did not expect you going down that route. Yeah. That's crazy. That's he was crazy. kind of a baddie. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, okay, great answer. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Um, so Mariah, kind of same to you. Were you a fan of the comics or movies kind of growing up as well? Or did it kind of come later oh, on? Like, I know you said I know you said you were you dressed up as uh as, as Mara Jade um when you were young, but yeah, mm-hmm. anything like that. 
Uh, I was a massive Spider-Man fan growing up. Okay. I awesome. like remember every second of watching those movies for the first time. It was like I could I was actually obsessed the first time. I I rewatched it on repeat for like a month. And I was like, yeah. Um if I get to be like I was like I want to act. I want to be in action movies. Like I want to be I also wanted to do That like, was the answer too. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I was really inspired by Spider-Man to like get into stunts and stuff. Like yeah. after watching everything like that, mm -hmm. um, he made me fall in love with um, action heroes that were so you know just. I I was really really taken over by the magic of Spider-Man that everyone falls yeah. over, yeah. but um, I think that the comics didn't really come to me until I met her. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, Let's be honest. <laughs> She's got way more knowledge, uh, but I'm okay with that because it was yeah. like meeting uh, 22 was like, and and like reading her comics and her taking me to like the comic book store was so beautiful. Actually, it's so fun. Comic book stores we are like, literally we were, like the funnest thing to do or go to. Yes. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> we were already awesome. bonding as MJ and, and Gwen. So then, like reading what their story is, and then like her walking me through all the ways that like I didn't even like. I didn't even realize how much I was like MJ until people started sending me panels. So, um, yeah. and it was her. She would be like, <laughs> then, yeah, I was going to say, like, one, like frame that. by frame, life imitating art. I would be like, for real. Yeah. The comic was definitely inspired by her for sure. It'll be funny. Like, we'll go buy a comic and I'm very like particular about the certain comics I get. And there yeah. was one night. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't roast me like this. <laughs> I gotta know. I gotta know. I'm sorry, Mariah. Small. Whatever it is, doing. we got like the same comic, and it wasn't like a really okay. special comic. But, but there's like you know, there's a certain way you open your comic. The safest way is to take oh, it. Oh no! Off right? Track. Yeah. The sleeve cover. Out, yeah. It's yeah. like reading it, I'm like, and I was yeah. like, dude. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? I was like, bro, it's a comic book. Like, let me read it. That's a rookie move, Mariah. That's a rookie move. I you know what? And I stand by that because I had <laughs> no. Fun, okay? okay. All right. All right. I'll give it's it all letters, letters, I guess. Death in the Family, and I read it so much at eight years old. I bet I ruined that book. Oh, God. Oh, That's like yeah. Really expensive book. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 <clears throat> at least you read a comic book like that's just the beautiful part yeah like reading comics i was like i didn't know yeah. we weren't supposed to read them. <laughs> no it's I just how you read them i just want to look at the pictures <laughs> we'll be sitting on the train she's like jamming out to music and i've got like dc ultimate universe pulled up yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> she looks at me and like kanye yeah, and then yeah, she's yeah. like I screenshot panels. I'm like, look at this panel. <laughs> you screenshot panels oh my God, i do yeah, yeah. that's yeah. awesome i'm not gonna front when i said yeah, I she's she knows way more about comics, but as far as the movies go, the Spider Man mm -hmm. movies, massive fan of all. I mean, well, I haven't even seen Spider Man three, so it's like the duality, like the two. Sides. Never, I've really? never seen. Bro, you're gonna get hate crime. I no, know. no, no, I, I no. That, that, I mean, it's a little shocking. I'll be honest, but no, no, I don't. that's yeah, crazy. I don't like wow, comics, guys, like no, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, no, no yeah. judgment at all. That that that's wow, that's crazy. I rec I recommend it. It's I I think I think you know uh, it wasn't yeah. what Sam Raimi wanted, but I think it's I think it's a a solid movie. So yeah, it. yeah. Um, but uh, so do you like to to read like like virtual comics better than the physical? I guess the physical you don't want to kind of ruin or anything. So it depends. There's certain comics that I have um just read like um for example. I wanted to read, um, like, okay, this is something that I like to admit because I think girls who read comic books often get, um, like, they'll say, like, oh, you only read comic books because you like that that pairing, or, oh, you only read comic books because you like that guy, and, like, I'll be honest, sometimes I do. Mm -hmm. Like, I mm -hmm. am a girl. I like superheroes, and I like superhero couples, and... Yeah. That's valid. How many? Um, yes, Brack, of course. Uh, Brack, how many? <laughs> how many comic books do certain boys buy because like their favorite girl, like superheroes, in like a bikini? Yeah. Like, yeah. You want to get mad at me? Get mad at me. Um, yeah. but I Stand wanted it, to yeah. read. Um, I wanted to read X Men Gold because I knew that Rogue and Gambit got remarried. Um, or mm -hmm. married in that line. In that. 
And so I did go and I bought all of X-Men Gold and I've read that um, physically, but my dad for Christmas got me a subscription to DC um, um, Ultimate Universe or Infinite Universe. I, yeah, um, so I'll read my DC comics on my phone just because it's free. Um, yeah. 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 I, I love having like the, like a physical copy of the comic. Like I, I, I like the, you know, like putting it on the wall and stuff. I think it's the coolest thing. Um, yeah, they're, 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 they're cool. They're cool. Comics are cool. Um, all right. So, <laughs> you thought I was going to get hate crime for like, I know. I know. I, know. No, no. <laughs> I like to rip them open. I like Archie comics. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I um, forward. <laughs> so, um, from what I understand the film, I guess we've kind of mentioned it before, but the film seems to be primarily a, um, a, a drama and we've um, seen specifically in your case, Mariah, a lot, like a lot, most of the shots from the, from the jewelers that we've seen, you're crying a lot. <laughs> and um, so does that come kind of naturally to you? And, and, and how has this film been different than any of the products you've, you've done before? <laughs> <laughs> you're crying a lot. I'm Fair crying enough. a lot in this film. Yeah. yeah. Um, I am a competitive actor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And if someone needs me to do something, I got you. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, to the limits, like there's some things that I'm like, that's whack. Cause there's some yeah. weird directors out there. Um, for sure. For sure. We know this. Crying coming naturally. Um, yeah. I, if I want to, do that I just hype myself up and I get there I was like I don't know if that answers your question I do cry a lot yeah mm -hmm. I do mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but it's like crying for me has always been a really like helpful thing yeah like crying yeah. I don't mind crying in front of people I don't mind crying like if I feel overwhelmed or like but usually crying for me isn't like sobbing Usually just like right. water just starts running down my face. Like everybody talked about that on set, how I just be sitting mm -hmm. there. I could make like a straight face and just like tears would just start rolling. Damn, that's impressive. I don't, I don't think I could do that. So like, yeah, I mean, we would shoot crying scenes for like hours on end. Oh, yeah, I imagine a while. I shot a yeah, crying cause... scene for about like 10 hours and I was crying the whole wow. time. That's why after the trailer dropped, I, I released that photo of me with all that snot down. My, that's all real. I didn't use wow. any of this shit. Like I was, wow. I was producing for that ten music. hours. Yeah, dude. Damn. Like I'm proud. Yeah, dude. It's all real. <laughs> and then we had to reshoot that same scene the next day, so I had to do that all over again. Wow. With more emphasis. Damn. And Gavin was literally pissing his pants. He was so proud of me. Um, that, yeah, that's that is insane. He was in the back of the insane. car. He was like, you "Should be very proud." Oh, now. you're still crying. And I'm like, <laughs> literally, yeah, I got how? You. yeah. Yeah, oh that was fun. That was That's fun. crazy. Wow. But, oh, That's actually, so you know about crying, though? Sorry, I'm going to yeah. talk over you. No, no, um, you're good. You're good. Uh, if I'm, like, crying one scene, and everybody can testify to this, if I'm, like, camera's rolling and I'm bawling, camera stops rolling, and I'm like, hey, yo, who want a cookie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she can turn it on and off so quickly. Like That is super really impressive. Cool. Wow. It was really cool to see the different methods of acting mm. um, from everyone yeah. in the set. Like, um... Sean is very much a method actor. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, so so I've been told, yeah. 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 I don't know yeah. how to describe Warden's type of acting. You can you're just an actress. Like you turn it off, turn it on. Like you there's a very clear divide. Um and I just I I just tend to pull from real experiences. Um okay. but that's probably because I don't know how to act. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things about her. We'd be on set and I'd be like working through my techniques and she's like, no, I'm just reliving my trauma. I got you though. <laughs> that was going to be, that was gonna be my next question is, is, yeah. is um, I know this was kind of like your, like, I guess one of your first acting roles kind of, kind of ever, I guess, like, especially like doing a, doing a full film. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. Like how is that? What was that like for you, like, like revisiting acting and kind of after so much time and also doing it in such a huge project like this? Yeah, absolutely. I think I was really nervous at first. Um, yeah, definitely. I was really anxious. I wasn't sure what to do. My sister, immediately after I got cast, she then loaned me 15 bucks and she said, please sign up for acting classes. Um, oh, okay. I think I bought a coffee and two comic books. <laughs> 
do that. As you motherfucking um, should. <laughs> yeah. You do your research. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm, it was probably exponentially. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Just that, just that. Yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I, I actually, I, I had a Gwen comic collection before I got cast. Okay, cool. There was that. Um, Love that. But I was really scared. And then the first night came and I remember we were on the train and I was like, man, I don't feel anxious. Should I feel anxious? Yeah. And you were like, no, like, that's good. That's good. Mm. And we got there and we started walking through, um, the lines mm -hmm. and man I think more than anything like as a comic book fan it we weren't us anymore we were the characters and it's cool yeah. because the dynamics really reflected the comics like we very much acted like our characters the four of us mm -hmm. and that translated into a lot of the friendships that developed and stuff um so it was really easy to become those characters but when the cameras started rolling I, I was ecstatic. Like it, it was just, it was something else. Um, and so that anxiety kind of went away because I was like, no, like this is Spider-Man. Like this is the story that you've been wanting to be told for years. And yeah, I didn't have to worry anymore. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. That's awesome. Um, so I imagine there's a lot of pressure with playing such um beloved characters as, as, as Mary Jane and Gwen. Um, <laughs> but like, how did you guys cope with that? Or how did you guys deal with that? I guess if you want to talk about that a little bit. You want me to go? Sure. Okay. Uh, MJ is a badass. Okay. For sure. He's the yeah. one who's like, you know, mopping up the blood after Peter does his shit. Like, yeah. yeah. And so, um, Kirsten Dunst's performance as MJ was so precious. Her yeah. character, I love her. Um, but then reading the character, the characteristics of MJ from the comics, that's actually when I realized that I was a lot more fit for it. Because I remember mm -hmm. at the time that I'd auditioned, I was like, Gavin, I want to bring a more mature, more uh, calculated version of MJ. I want to dye my hair darker. And he was like, we're gonna do this perfect yeah I, like literally so yeah the pressure was actually pretty relieved as long as i talked to the cast about where i was coming from great yeah. um and as honestly talking with uh 22 and gavin it really just calmed all expectations because That's we awesome. were genuinely like just in the moment like mm -hmm. and honestly like our fans are so sweet I like I'm you guys deserve I'm it so emo as fuck over how much support uh, I actually was just talking to you last night about how like I was like man you can't force people to appreciate the version yeah. of a character that's so like it's been redone so many times and it's been yeah. like there's so many versions of her so to have people um not just appreciate it but understand where we're coming from yeah. um I think people are really going to enjoy uh, MJ and I don't think I'm going to feel as much pressure as, as some people would expect because I've got a good, I've got a good support system right here. And she yeah. always reminds me uh, just that this is what it's about. Like the way that we connect with uh, like matching the energy of the fans mm -hmm. is what it's about. And anybody yeah. who, you know, has a different opinion it's awesome because you know what? We don't have to be like, fuck you. We can just be like, all right, there's plenty of other versions out there. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's right. And if yeah. you're looking for this version, we got mm -hmm. it. So it's great. Exactly. Okay. That's awesome. Um, I think for me, yeah, for honest, you, Tony, yeah. like, um, I do get pretty anxious. I get pretty anxious because again, I don't have an acting background. And I think that's where I have my most stress is that someone's yeah. going to say, oh, you should have cast someone else. Um, but at the same time, like whoever said that is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go, rah, rah, rah. Um, yeah, I was like, hold up. Who, where is that person? Where, where is that person? Yeah. Um, but I have to remind myself, like, um, just how much I love the character and how special the story is. Um, there, like, I do have to protect myself in certain ways when it comes to the fans, um, mm -hmm. because actually of the comic book background, um, the fans are very quick to jump on me for that and tell me that I don't know anything. Um, mm -hmm. 
which is really interesting because they'll start out with like, oh, you you read comic books? Like, let's talk about comic books. And I'm like, sure, let's talk about comic books. And then they're like, you're a girl. You don't know how to read. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> they literally <laughs> will tell her that she doesn't know that's how to like, read. That's like zero to 100. Like, yeah, what? I'm like, it's so fast. I reply, and then they're like, ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, can you calm down? Damn. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry I have to deal with that. That's, no, that's it's, not it's, fun. it's cool. I, I just very much limit my interactions mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Um, but I, get that. I just have to sit and remind myself, like, this is a story that matters so much to me. Like mm. my top tweet that I put out <laughs> is currently crying over Peter Parker. Don't call or text. And I read that regularly um, because like, I'll be sitting in here and she'll be like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I just, I just really love Spider-Man. It's true. <laughs> I've never, like, I've met a lot of Spider-Man fans in this experience. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Too. And you're like a Spider-Man you're like a part of its family yeah like she really is like um yeah spider-man is like your home yeah, yeah. it's a very yeah, um, yeah, same for me literally yeah i like to say that yeah. um spider-man has saved me in a lot of different ways that i don't think many people will ever know mm-hmm. um for sure so yeah boring. especially especially like last year you know yeah he couldn't yeah. save Gwen stacy but he saved me oh yeah <laughs> There you go. There you go. Yeah. I love that you say that. I love every time. It's so funny. Yeah. Um, but great. yeah, I think that's just where I have to keep going back to and reminding myself yeah. of what it means to me. Um, and then there are the fans. Like, there's certain accounts that have just been 100% support from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And that's so amazing. And then yeah. getting to just talk with, like, <laughs> Mariah um, just about it. And, I mean, some of my favorite moments on set were scenes I weren't even in wasn't even in and um we would walk through her lines oh yeah (laughs) this is so special to me and um I mean your delivery is always fantastic but I would be like I'd be like okay this is who this character is and this is why they matter Mm -hmm. um this is why this specific word really matters and this is what you're referencing in that Mm -hmm. and that was some of my favorite parts because then it, it was more than just representing the character but it was taking like all these years of knowledge and applying it to something and then watching it like watching her perform as mj the spider-man fan inside of me was just screaming like that was the one can't wait that that i like put the headphones on and i would like listen to the audio and it took everything i mean not to be like yes this is perfect it was so much i couldn't have done yeah it's They're crazy. Like her MJ is phenomenal. Awesome. Phenomenal. The I cannot wait. I literally can't gonna wait. You're going to love it. It's oh straight out god. of comic books. Oh my god. It is. It is. I love it. I love it. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited sold. for everybody to see it. It's going to be yeah. fun. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy, especially when the, especially when you know the the film comes out. That's gonna be a crazy we time. We looked each other last night and we're like, wait, the movie's actually gonna come out. I know. I was yeah, like, I was like, I was like, yeah, this is just gonna get like stretched. Oh no, twenty twenty three now. Sorry guys. Yeah. Also, um, for people who are watching, we do sit together and watch the edits. Oh yeah, yeah. We will like sit together. The edits are I mean, and really really cool. It's crazy. Yeah. They. Been really cool, yeah. And Gavin's been posting a couple, and and they're yeah. they're super cool, yeah. Oh, they're great. Um, so, okay, so you kind of touched upon this a little bit. Um, but what is something unique about your characters that we haven't seen before in prior iterations that we're gonna see in Lotus? I know that for MJ, uh, touching on her more mature aspect was really important yeah. for everybody. Um, which falls into it being a drama, of course, right. Yep. Um, but yeah. we get to see a lot more. I feel like the most unique thing about MJ in this project is her arc. She actually has like an arc in this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the mistake of MJ prior was not her being whiny or scared because, you know, she's allowed to be scared. There's a fucking mm-hmm. green goblin chasing her, you know? <laughs> um, but she can Und- understandable. She can hold her own. And of course, the smoking was like a little devil devil for the fans. <laughs> so yeah. there's there's quite a few there's quite a few details that we add that I'm pretty proud of, and those all fall on the of her being more grown up and more adapted yeah. to Peter. Awesome. Yeah. How about you, doing? <laughs> um, I mean, I can't talk too much about what you can. Yeah, what you can um, say. What you can say. Of course. Yeah. 
I, I think wanna... something I enjoyed like seeing was a lot of times with Gwen, she's very one-sided and mm -hmm. well, I'm not in a whole lot of this, like that is just honest. Um, okay. I think there's a humanizing aspect in the relationship with Peter. Like there's going to be scenes that you see um, where it's just like, oh my God, like they were just kids really, you know, like that, that was just like, mm. they, it's just a, like a, a guy and his girlfriend, you know, like, and right. um, I think I really liked that because there's, man, like I, I'm like trying not to talk about yeah. sex. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, don't if, if it's spoiler, you, you can. I like on, that. But. Like I think Tasm does a phenomenal job with her. Um, yeah. But with the relationship, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But I think this is just like they're newly in college, um, mm -hmm. and they're just they're just kids dating. Yeah, um, yeah. And so I think that adds to that kind of like harrowing aspect of what happens. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. That, that's that's great um okay so in what ways um would you say are you like are, are you like your characters <laughs> <laughs> well um, do you see how we're dressed <laughs> i know like hmm, might be staring at the characters right here yeah okay maybe yeah um uh, yeah shit i'm trying to think about where to start uh i do you want to start I yeah two and if you have something i guess i think there's like different things i i like to i i don't want to sound prideful when i say this but i think that she's no, an intellectual character and i find myself mm -hmm. to be pretty intellectual you um are intellectual <laughs> thank you <laughs> um and so that was something i really liked and that's something that drew me to the character of gwen stacy she's um yeah. a female in comics that didn't have to be spunky and i love the spunky characters the the way that they're um they meet the um a lot of the male characters where they're at like that but as that kind of nerdy kid that was just reading books and comic books growing up to see a girl that didn't have superpowers that was just smart and even coming from like that um background of like her dad being a police officer i mean i i quote this a lot when in tasm she says you know um every day my dad has strapped a badge to his hip and i haven't known that he's gonna come home um, that is very much uh, a sentiment that I have always related to. Yeah. Uh, I used to wake up at 5 a.m. when I was in elementary school just to watch my dad drive his cruiser down the street. And he would see us in the windows waving and he would just flash the lights and then he'd be gone. And um, you didn't know he was coming home. Uh, I know there were even times like we would watch because uh, he was the leader of the SWAT team for a little bit. We would watch like on TV, like the SWAT operations as the news coverage was happening. And that is so terrifying. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and so to see the way she is strong and she is smart mm -hmm. in a way that sets her apart from other female characters, that was something I felt a really big draw to. And that's why I've been a Gwen Stacy fan for a lot longer than I've been a part wow. of this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's, yeah. Um, Ryan, how about you? Well, <laughs> all of it. <laughs> all of it? Yeah, I was going to say, hold up. Yeah, I like to, I love to be around people. I'm a very extroverted person. Um, That's MJ. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. love to be on stage. I, um, I actually worked at a diner for a while. I worked as a barista. Like, You're checking the boxes. <laughs> and then I like... <laughs> It was, and I'm planning on moving to like Queens yeah. and like, yeah. it's just so cool because Queens is amazing. It, it was really, really easy to fall in love with her character as a kid, but it was yeah. way more fun to relate to her character to the comics. Yeah. And that just being said, there's, I think you guys are actually going to see a lot of me in Lotus, like actually scenes yeah. that I was like, no, I would do it this way. And Gavin would be like, okay, MJ would do that. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. So MJ, I don't want to give yeah. too much away because there's a lot of scenes that are just yeah, like cool. I relate to. But MJ is a baddie. <laughs> and sure. Even sure. some of the way they talk. Sure. Like, that's why I'll send her panels. I'm like, dude, I can hear you saying this. Oh, yeah. She said one the other day. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, I literally say it's that. It's weird. <laughs> oh, my God. That's uh, – I literally can't wait. That's going to be insane. 
Um, okay, so um, so your two characters have very strong relationships. I would say mainly with with, with Peter. Um, so mm. what was it working like? What was it like working with um, Warden and kind of sort of bouncing off of him in a scene? If you want to talk to that about that a little bit, Mariah, if you want to go first. Oh, if I want to go first. Uh, if you want to, yeah. Yeah, Warden's cool. Warden was really fun. Warden to work is cool. He's a nice guy. Um, yeah, he was really cool to work with. Uh, I feel like him knowing Gavin for a really long time really paid off because mm-hmm. uh, I know that that's the most long lasting friendship out of like the directing side of it all. Yeah. Um, and honestly, yeah, we couldn't have. It, Warden put so much energy into this film and so much time into this film, and I'm glad that he was someone to Gavin that he needed to be at the moment. So, yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah, Tune, how about you? <clears throat> um, I think with a lot of our scenes and dialogue, it was cool just because a lot of it came really naturally and, and we play off of each other really well. And I'm excited for people to see that in the movie. Um, one man, like when I saw him in the suit for the first time, it was crazy. Um, yeah, like talk about dreams coming true um yeah it, i think we play off of each other really well in the scenes that we are in and i'm really excited for people to see that chemistry on screen yeah you so you both saw warden in, in the suit for the first time i guess in pictures but also the, oh no you mariah you saw it like pretty early because you I saw it before, pictures, like, right? everybody. like everybody yeah, yeah right, right, right 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 i right. saw it like right when they got the well not everybody but like right before you know we started yeah shooting. yeah the, the because, pictures, yeah. uh another thing was that warden and i after he dm'd me mm-hmm. i found out like when he sent me the location for where we were supposed to take mj photos mm-hmm. warden only lived like 10 minutes away from me really yeah oh we were like God. right down the road so i was like damn what the heck? <laughs> so um, that's wild. Huh. So yeah, when I got there and he came out in the suit, I just remember he was really sweaty because it <laughs> takes a lot of time to put it on. Yes. Yep. He was like about to pass out. He was like, "All right, let's do this." Yeah. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> and he he wears the suit really well. He 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 does like yeah. owned that suit, so it was cool. The texture on it is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like. What I always imagined Spider Man to feel like. So crazy. Um, <laughs> wasn't even the muscles, man. It was just the texture. Yeah. Of the I was gonna say, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Uh, I was that's great. Freaking out. Um, because I had been really excited to see it in general for a while. Yeah. yeah. And so we pulled up because I just stayed at her house during some of the other filming in Arkansas. And oh, okay. we pulled up to his house and Eunice called me and he was like, look up. And I was like, what? And I look up in the window, and it's Eunice grinning like an idiot, and Warden in the Spider-Man suit standing next to him. And I dropped my bags in, like, on the sidewalk, and I sprinted <laughs> inside. And, I'm and Warden, he has this phrase he says all the time. He goes, he's like, "Relax, relax." I was like, "It's Spider-Man." <laughs> I was like, "I can't." I was, it, I, I was oh freaking my God. out. It was a good yeah. moment. That's she definitely crazy. cried. I just want to point that out. All right. All yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just expose, just expose her a little bit. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So what will, um, with, obviously without spoilers and stuff, um, what can we expect from NJ and Gwen's relationship in the film? Ooh, that's actually a really cool question. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to expose Gavin so hard right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is about to be, this is a hot take. You ready? Oh, my God. When I read the script initially, I was like, this does not pass the Bechdel. Um, there was not a single line exposed oh. between Mariah or I. Right. And yeah. so we went to Gavin with it. Mm. And we were like, hey, dude, um, we don't talk to each other. Or or a scene where we talk to each other that has nothing to do about the boys. Yeah. Like has nothing to do with right. Yeah, yeah. Shit. We're yeah. talking about Peter, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's... Yeah. And so hmm. we were like, we we want to do that. That needs to be changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. The yeah. cool thing about Gavin is he is so willing to listen to feedback. He's and he, so cool. Yeah. And That's he great. made it That's through great. like, okay, like this wasn't even like what we wanted to do with the scene wasn't even um 
something that like uh, he's really cautious about telling the stories he's supposed to tell Mm -hmm. um and so when it was us coming to him with this uh absence of a scene he was like would you like to write one like would you guys like to collab together and write a scene that does what you're asking for this film and we were like yes yeah Um, (laughs) we took an evening at a coffee shop and we wrote a scene that passed the Bechdel Mm -hmm. and um I think also really just further developed because I mean in the trailer she says you know we all lost something that scene right there Mm -hmm. we directed that (laughs) we wrote that wow (laughs) yeah oh my god okay so the one that's making everybody cry (laughs) but I the that's thanks to you too yeah that's great but um, wow okay i didn't know you guys wrote a scene yeah i know warden i know warden was um warden wrote, wrote, a, wrote a couple yeah yeah um right. he's like <laughs> um so warden wrote a lot of that gavin okay. obviously wrote a majority of the script yeah right between, between mariah and i that really developed the gwen mj relationship and not in a competitive way um that was us yeah and then That's some great. of the directing, um, I did happen to step in. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> there's so many photos. There's photos of 22, oh like Gavin sitting there, like, and 22 and is like, like, she's like doing this, the so whole this is what we're directing do. thing. Um, right. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I had no, I had no like, idea you guys. No, you're posing. Yeah. Oh, that's true. There's a camera. I'm like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I know. I, I had no idea you guys did behind the scenes stuff. That's that's crazy. Um, it was okay, not I'm looking. To happen. We just right. Like- yeah. No, I'm looking forward yeah. to, to seeing that scene then even more. Uh, that's that's very exciting. Um, okay, great. Um, so kind of continuing. Um, what themes do your characters represent in the film's overall story? Would you say? Mm, I would say. Redemption. What's the main message? Yeah. Yeah, redemption. like redemption for MJ for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love a good redemption arc. Yes. That's and Gavin did, Gavin did a, and and actually there's a scene that Warden wrote for MJ. Um, oh, okay. It's one of my favorites. It mm-hmm. really just like the theme of it was um who is she, you know? Mm. Like who the hell is she? Yeah. Not just who is she romantically to Peter, like right. the, you know, whole manic pixie dream girl trope was pretty Mm -hmm. evident in a lot of the girls in the movies for a long time so like we get to see her in her own light Mm -hmm. eventually but you know Mm -hmm. you'll see more you'll see more i can't wait yeah no that's great um two and how about you i think one word i'd use to describe gwen in this film is (laughs) i was actually that's that's definitely one you're not wrong you're not wrong you're not yeah I think yeah. real. Um, and I think mm-hmm. um, just, mm-hmm. again, we take a lot of time establishing this was a real relationship, a real loss, a yeah. real person. Um, mm-hmm. And so I think that more than anything, like you said, it's, it's not a manic pixie dream girl. It's not just some girl he dated that he mm-hmm. lost. Like there's a, a level of reality to this relationship. And I think there's a certain scene um, where you really get to see parts of their relationship and that's going to shine through where you're like, oh my God, like this is just, like I said before, it's just just two kids. Like they, yeah. we're just a couple. Um, and so I think that's the biggest, um, most defining trait of her character in this film. That's great. That's great. Um, so what was the biggest takeaway or biggest thing um, you learned from your time on set? Bro, I can actually act. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, she's so Let's go. I hope everybody knows it's so funny because like you know she had no idea that whole scene about like her getting on a set her being like am I supposed to be nervous yeah just the light that came over her eyes whenever she looked at me after we like after she had her first scene and Mm -hmm. she just so naturally like she looked at me and she was like I want to keep at I just do that yeah yeah right yeah it's so much fun it's true (laughs) um yeah I think it it was my biggest takeaway was just personally um i've always said like (laughs) like i had a linkedin in the beginning of college i used to do a a bunch of leadership things and for the job (laughs) so embarrassing (laughs) i wrote aspiring storyteller and i've always said like to me it doesn't matter how i'm telling a story as long as i'm telling a story and getting the opportunity to tell a story in front of a camera was never something i thought was a possibility for me 
and suddenly it's a very real possibility um that I had a lot of fun doing mm -hmm. that's great that's that's fantastic um Mariah how about you my biggest takeaway yeah dramatically stares yeah dramatically dramatic and uh, dramatically stares at the ceiling uh, out the window um I could not imagine going this year without meeting 22. Um, I'm going to be honest, Spider-Man was awesome. Yeah. Uh, but my favorite takeaway was definitely like, I'm literally going to start crying. I like literally <laughs> filled tears. Uh, yeah. Meeting her was like the biggest accomplishment, the biggest like advancement to my life. And I couldn't imagine having anybody else casted at all Aww. because wow. my experience with Lotus was great, but it was phenomenal because she was there. We like we talk That's about great. a lot, like how lucky we were that the other person was cast. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Um, it's cool because again we're similar to our characters. Um, Mariah does a really beautiful job of just drawing me out, and we balance each other so well. <laughs> like we, we'll even talk. We'll be like, bro, my skin clears up when I'm around. Yeah, you. this one, <laughs> we're like, bro, where's our Eddie? No, another. Oh my God, that's so yeah. funny. So fuck that's... Peter. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is why we were so excited that you want to interview both of us. Yeah. Because we were like, honestly, we love talking about it together so much. Yeah. Wait to do it with her because then we can yeah. like, bounce off each other about it. Right. For sure. Yeah. No. It's it's okay. been great. I'm, I'm so yeah. happy we were able to to, to pull this together. He's like, this um, is a lot longer than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> um look at we the time answering questions so we can yeah i got i got two more of mine and then we'll and then we'll go through the fan <laughs> questions um maybe a little quicker if you, if we need to we need to pop out okay um, good, good. okay um so if you could work with any actor who would it be and why <laughs> you did not just ask that question i did I we did. Gotta be careful these days <laughs> because sometimes the fans will see. contact them. Like in another interview, I was talking about Sebastian Stan, and then people were like tagging him, and I was like, "Yo, in this video, I'm like unhinged, and I'm like, I love Sebastian." So like, I'm oh terrified to tell you who I actually want to work with. <laughs> you go. So ahead, Sebastian's like, that's a good choice, though. Can you guys hear me okay? Because my mic just yeah. like is okay. All right, good. Okay, never mind. Um, Sorry. Um, but okay, so Bash and Sand though, right? I would say if I could work with anybody, uh <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Just thinking about it. I think, yeah. I think it would be really cool to work with uh yeah sebastian he's just an actor i've always really admired yeah i know he he's he's fantastic. I I, I completely understand that. Mm -hmm. Um two and how about you? Um all right, I'll just be a hundred percent honest. Andrew yes, please. Andrew, oh, God. No. Hey. he's literally he literally is aware of you now, which is crazy. Oh. Do you know how much I cried that night? I, I, I literally was tearing up for you guys. <laughs> knows I exist. We were together that night. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's funny because oh, we flew out of New York, and we were like, I know. I was in New York. Uh, I didn't yeah. know. <laughs> we actually started doing this thing where every time a That's plane me. went by, because Gavin had let us know that there was like he was on the plane. We didn't know that he even saw it yet. So I was every, on the phone with Gavin when he found out. So I knew. Oh, my God. <laughs> so every time a plane passed out of JFK, you're like, we're like, yeah. <laughs> like, good luck. And then, like, 15 <laughs> minutes later, he was like, love it. And we were like, <laughs> folded. Folded. It was insane. But I, I, I freaked out for you. Like, oh, my God. That was. It's crazy. But Even the John Watts thing too, like oh my god! You get to see like a lot of his skills Ugh. with acting, and yeah, we'd seen a little bit of it, but I don't think he's had as many films come out as he had this year. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's he's had. I mean, he might, he's gonna he's gonna have one more one more in December. If, yeah, uh, if you know if you know if you know what I'm saying. I believe um, in it. I believe in it. Um, oh, there's no way that they aren't in it. Like it's it's been too much. Too much. That's what I. Think. Wait, though, I'm like, I'm like, did Gavin fake everything with the VFX? Yes, like, wait, I didn't did he know like? About that. I was like, dude, yeah, I'm the Andrew cool. video and like, like you made me look stupid. <laughs> I know, Gavin, dude, Gavin, when he did, oh my god, when he revealed that, I was like, damn, dude, I was fully convinced. So that's that's gets scary that we were convinced though too. 
He's a marketing like, genius, though. Mm. Yeah, he's no, he, he. Oh yeah. He's done a damn good job with with it. So. That's yeah, awesome. For sure. Um, but yeah, no, Andrew. Andrew's such a good actor. Like, I totally get that. And like, I have. I go back when I'm like, okay, I need to like either cry or like just look at a great performance. Like the Amazing Spider-Man Two deleted scene with him with um with the grave dad. with the dad with his dad you know he refused to see that actor dead. on set until that scene so that he could have that level of just aggravation like what yeah have you been like i haven't oh seen i just got chilly chills yeah i know what <laughs> yeah chills that. literally like that's, Ooh, it's i think i i think i like yeah was really unsettled insane. after that i was like oh yeah no it leaves it leaves like oh, a man. it leaves a mark yeah for sure yeah. it's phenomenal. it's crazy yeah I it, it's it's sad about that movie. Okay, but, but in terms of actor, anyways, no, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. That was my bad. That I I admire too. I'd say like long term, uh, James McAvoy has been like one of my oh top yeah. Versions. Oh yeah. Uh, in terms of skill, in terms of like fangirl, I'd say Sebastian because I'm a huge yeah. Winter Soldier fan. No, he's, uh, he's but great. In terms of like career, uh, I've always wanted to learn from James McAvoy because he's in one of the most multifaceted actors i think of our mm. generation so yeah he's i totally agree he he's he's insane mr tomness are you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> um okay great um so what this is the last question for me and then we'll go into the fan questions but what are other fandoms that you are a part of that people maybe wouldn't expect from you two you go first Ooh, that people. Hey, what is something you're really into? I guess it doesn't have to necessarily be like a, a fandom or whatever. Um, I'm really into books a lot. Okay. Um, one of my favorite book series is The Raven Cycle by um, Maggie Stiefvater. Um, and I actually lived in the town that it was based on. So that was really oh, cool. cool. Um, I did live wow. in Harrisonburg, Virginia for like a year. Um, I can say that because I don't live there anymore. <laughs> um, so that was cool. Yeah. But then I think one of like the top fandoms that I've ever been a part of, um, aside from superheroes, I say superheroes. Yeah, I'm trying to think um, of things that people wouldn't expect, uh, or, or or just or just anything. It doesn't have to be necessarily thing people would expect. Yeah. I guess. But. I was obsessed with. Um, I read it when I was 11, and I've read that series all the way through 15 times ever since. Wow. I went to every midnight premiere for that. I had so much merch. I have like the collection. Mm barbie um mm -hmm. i had so much of that stuff and wow. i saw a magazine um with it on it i would buy it um and so they, that was really my first fandom experience and then from right. there i learned a little bit more about like the online um, marvel and dc fandom experience yep. that i could have um and that's when i started my fan account <laughs> but, you know, we don't talk about that <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't even know you had one. That's cool. Yeah. Yes. It's probably on purpose. The people don't know about that, I would imagine. Um, but uh, yeah, Mariah, how about, how about you? Um, mine is Dylan O'Brien core. So like <laughs> Maze Runner. Dylan O'Brien is insane. Yeah. I yeah. So like Maze yeah. Runner and Teen Wolf were like two really big fandoms that I was in. I haven't seen Teen Wolf, but Maze Runner. Yeah. Good stuff. They're good. Good stuff. They're good. They're good. Yeah, I used to make. I used to make. Um, I had like a Vine fan account. For <laughs> oh really? Oh Marvel, my god. Marvel, Teen Wolf, and like X Men. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, and, okay. Yeah, and then some other fandoms that I did. I used to make edits all the time on Vine for like. Really? Five years. Yeah, That's and crazy. I like, got a following too. But then you know, Vine like fucking. I know. And shit. Tragic tragedy for sure yeah. yeah that was like my world was like the whole oh and the walking yeah. dead i'm a massive walking dead fan mm. i fucking love that shit yeah that's great that's great um yeah i wish dylan o'brien was was spider-man he he would he would kill it um he would that's one of yeah. gavin's top youtube videos did you see that it's oh like, yeah i know yeah gavin yeah gavin wait for real yeah we should watch it yeah I don't I'm go on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. Yeah. I haven't seen the trailer. His know. old stuff. Yeah, no. his old stuff is, is cool in the in the series and all that. Oh, um but, okay. <laughs> so we're at the fan questions. I got so many fan questions. That was the first time we've I've like opened it up to the people. Um I apologize if your question was not here. It was either because um I already kind of asked it, or maybe it wasn't a question that we should have asked. Um <laughs> And so yeah, I'll 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 go ahead and 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 start. Um, so this is for, sorry if I butchered your username. 
um, but I'll do my best. So this is from the Real Max Paris. Um, what is your favorite Spider-Man story arcs? Or this isn't just be, I guess, Spider-Man story in general. Ooh. Comics, mo uh, movies, whatever. Yeah. Take the flow, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do really like Spider-Man Blue. Um, I own yeah. it before I even bias. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Come on. All right. The hey, yeah, hey, hey. Oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like um, the blue is great blue and actually one of my favorite I don't know if this is a story <clears throat> run but one of my favorite comics is I want to say it's Amazing Spider-Man 52 um it's the first appearance of MJ I know she has like oh yeah yeah, yeah. um but when I I personally um I do believe that MJ knew that Peter was Spider-Man before she ever met Peter Parker, um, because I don't remember oh, where right. he yeah, was, yeah, yeah. but like she saw him um, climbing out his window as Spider Man, which like right. Peter, you're a dumbass. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. he's like, yeah. he won't know that I'm wearing. <laughs> Nobody neon will see me house. climbing out my window, and there's a yeah. house right, uh, right, right across. Yeah, exactly. Shocking, really. Um, <laughs> you knew what? good photo of Spider Man is taken yeah. by the same guy yeah. who climbed yeah. out. Of no, in spandex every day. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was putting two and two together. Oh my God. Yeah. Hmm. Let's, um, let's see here. That one comic yeah. where she sees him watching the TV and it's the rhino attacking. And he's like, how do I leave right now? Like, I'm mm. not sure how to dip. Um, <laughs> and she looks at him and I just know she knows because she's like, hey, do you want to go into the city and see what's happening with the rhino? And he's like, mm. absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then they get into the city and he's like, no, what, how do the fuck do I leave her? And she's like, I'll just stand right here with the motorcycle and you can go take your photos. And right. I oh love that comic so much because she's so chill about it and she absolutely knows who he mm -hmm. is. And so that is one of my favorite comics. Yeah, I, I actually have been going back. I started with um, Amazing Fantasy and I'm going all the way up. Yes. Um, so I'm uh yeah. So I haven't gotten there yet, but that's very exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing I'm um, to MJ and Gwen and Alyssa. Oh no, you're good. You're good. No, no, no. You're good. I was did not did not mean mean it like that. Um, but yeah, I know it, it's it's been cool. I I love the the old comics are just nothing better, nothing better. Um, but uh, but yeah, Mariah, how about you? What was the question again? Um, like favorite Spider-Man story or story arc or whatever. This can be again from like shows, um, mm -hmm. movies, um, or um, comics. I guess from what you've I'm read. Not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. When Andrew Garfield was skateboarding, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, dude, the skater boy. Oh my god, skater boy Andrew. Skater boy Andrew. That's my favorite trope. That's it. It's not that deep. <laughs> no, I respect it. Like, no, no, I, I hear you. A run number 52? <laughs> I'm like, when he did that handstand, I was yeah, like, Yeah, when he did that okay. skateboard and stuff, and he was, okay. you know, swinging on the chains and uh -huh. the spray painted. So that was my symbol. favorite trope. Yeah. I was like, finally. Yeah. That makes sense. So he Kingdom would... Come by Coldplay playing in the background. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen that, like, a bunch of times. Like, I'm yeah, <laughs> I didn't I didn't just watch it, like, you know, last week. Um, all right, all right. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. Um, Okay. So, okay, this is, I don't know what this username is, but shout out to, uh, I said I was going to make a spam bot or spam butt. Anyways, um, <laughs> great name. Did you discover anything new or interesting about your characters as you played them? Nah. <laughs> nah, nothing. Not one thing. <laughs> uh, something new about MJ that I learned yeah. was uh, actually quite a bit. Hmm. I didn't even know how cool she was until I read awesome. the comics. Because hmm. I had seen so many uh, sexualized adaptations that I didn't relate yeah. to her because she was, I know the heater's popping off right now. I was so <laughs> sorry like, about the sound effects. No, <laughs> no, you were fine. You're fine. No, no yuck. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to New York, baby. Yeah. Right. yeah. It was just like unrelatable to me for a long time up until yeah. I saw how, um, how she was like a therapist to Peter. Yeah, really. Yeah. Like he, Very she true. keeps his sanity and I relate to that because I have a lot of friends that, I'm willing to stick by during their really rough times. Yeah. And I've, I love to empathize with people. So like, that was, that was sick. I like that. 
no that's great that is yeah that is a great aspect of um of the character um mm-hmm. but two and how about you anything about gwen i mean I imagine I know you know her inside and out, but I don't know. <laughs> any, any, anything, anything while filming. Something really. I really liked learning about her was her friendship with MJ. Um, because mm. even though I had read the comics, I think so often they're pitted against each other. Yeah. Um, and so that yeah. really uh, changed your interpretation of that friendship. Mm-hmm. Um, right. But right. getting to work with Mariah and how similar we are to the characters, I was like, wait, this works. I was like, this yeah. works. And then really kind of going back and seeing, even when they're like kind of being catty with each other about Peter, um, mm-hmm. it's in a teasing way. And they're they still lesbians. Own- <laughs> <laughs> they do have their own separate friendship um, that yeah. was really important. And I like to say, um, you don't have Peter and MJ if you didn't have Peter and Gwen first. That's right. Um, That's that right. Foundation of their relationship. Um, and the loss that they went through together is what yeah. built that. Um, exactly. So, That's yeah. debatable, but okay. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, it is. It's so true. Yeah, well, I got yeah. the game. Was- <laughs> it's like, over. We're like, we love on so our not body with each other. <laughs> we're like, wait a second. <laughs> Who's the soulmate here? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're literally a Peter Gwen fan. No, I'm not. I'm MJ and Peter fan. Oh. T. Mm. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you guys deal with that after the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just fist fighting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh our God. friendship. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Our yeah, friendship. Recasting. Yeah. Recasting. Yeah. Movie's never coming out. Um, <laughs> okay. So this is from. Um, I think it's Kylie Trusty. I think her name. Uh, the name is. Um, but did either of you have songs you listened to to get into character before shoot? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> you go ahead, babe. Um, I think we both made playlists. I had a playlist, but I think oh, okay. the song that was the most the, the most listened to for me was I think it's called Everything Nothing by Simone. Um, and I think that really encapsulated um a lot of Gwen's feelings with Peter's on and off again kind of relationship with her and how she knew that he was hiding something from her um Hmm. so I think that was the number one song I listened to I'm about to play you my Lotus playlist hold on oh okay Okay. so first of all we got okay we got a good cover right we got I love that and I'm pretty sure this is actually Black Widow I don't think this is (laughs) yeah I I think that is Black Widow We love we love to see it. But this bitch it. saw that and I was like, she's so cool. <laughs> and hold on, we got this. I'm gonna play this one right here. So did you have like set playlists for your characters? You would say, or like um, the kind of, like an MJ playlist or like a this, Gwen playlist. This was my. This was. Did y'all kind of share it? You know. The okay. One all right. On top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. I got you. Cool. That's awesome. That's I'm so about cool. to play you this song that I would listen to to hype myself up. It's okay. Do it like you by Diggy featuring <laughs> Jeremiah. <laughs> Get your cutie right. They don't do it like. <laughs> oh Thank you for that. That was so great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Well, that's I had no idea that you guys have played this. That's so cool. I got you. But uh hope you guys enjoyed Amariah's performance. Um, <laughs> I know when they're like, she's so much like MJ when she did they think she's like You are literally. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> um, okay, so this is from um Nerdmaster MIC, um, all time favorite Spider Man comic. Ooh. Can you answer for me? <laughs> Can you just name a comic? <laughs> I, just, or how, I mean, yeah, actually, I, 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 I'll make it. I'll make it easier for you, Mariah. What have you read? What have you? I read? like the Amazing Mary Jane. Okay. You got okay. me, Mary Jane. Okay. I got a bunch of right. those. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bunch. Okay, but yeah, like, like, like the. the I don't even know how many issues is that. I like the Amazing Mary the... Jane. Shocker. Okay. Wow. Hmm. I it's almost think... like you play the character. But, <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I think the most powerful comic, I don't know which reboot of The Amazing Spider-Man this is, but it's Amazing Spider-Man 36, the special um, 9-11 edition. 
Mm. Um, oh, yeah. And I yeah. That is the first comic book I bought on my own. Um, my dad and I went into Comic-Con, and that was the only comic we were looking for. Um, and when we found it, we didn't even know you're supposed to haggle. We just were like, yeah, we'll take it. And he was like, yeah, it's special because, and we're like, we'll, we're buying it. Like, you can just give it to it. And he was like, uh, are you sure? And I'm like, should we not be? <laughs> like, um, but we bought that and I've only flipped through it once. But man, when you see those panels, like, it's just something else. And even just the power of, they didn't have enough time to get cover art. Like, it's just mm. that black cover. Um, yeah. but that says so much more. Um, that, I think, is my favorite. It was uh-huh. like it was like Spider-Man was so uh, hopeful to so many people, and there was so little hope at that time. Yeah. So it was, it's actually, she showed me the, the comic that she has that she's talking about, and it's just mm-hmm. like holding it was like chilling. I was yeah. like, oh, my God. And the panels in there, like, that's New York superhero. Like, that's Spider-Man. And especially yeah. if you live here now, like, I can't imagine what that could have been like. Um, And the way that, like, they approach this idea of Spider-Man and how he would feel as a hero that almost failed his city in that moment, Mm -hmm. um, working alongside those first responders. Oh, my God. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's a great comic, so that's that's a solid pick. Um, The next question is from um, this guy underscore is tired. Again, fantastic usernames. Um, um, How does it feel to play these characters um, that you guys love as a child? And are you excited? Are you a little nervous? Um, Yeah. I feel like I'm actually playing a character that I didn't see as a kid. Hmm. Uh, The different, yeah, a different side of her. It's almost like playing uh, the version that I I wanted to see almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I actually, I think there's some nerves that, uh, I think the main nerves I have are just knowing that Andrew could possibly, uh, wow. you know what I'm saying? I'd say that that's the biggest thing, because there's always going to be fans, that, like I said, there's always going to be fans that um, will want to see different versions of her. Yeah. Uh, this is the first version that I've seen ever like her. Like, I, I've never seen an adaptation of, of MJ other than in the comics in this way, mm-hmm. so. And Spectre. Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spectacular. Yeah, yeah. So if if anything, it just makes me feel very proud that um the the magic that comes with Spider-Man is like infinite. Yeah. You can just you can you can read it, you can watch it, you can talk about it. It's it's like something that has meant so much to me the more it's expanded. Mm. Mm. Great. That's great. Um, yeah, to, do you want to speak to that a little bit more? Or I think that, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Again, there's like a little bit of nerves just when it comes to the skill thing, but I think yeah. when it comes to like... I know you're going to kill it, so... Oh, you, don't even, you don't even need to... Good, I promise. Yeah. I, I, I have absolutely no doubt, so... Thank you. Like, um, when she's yeah. dead, you think she's dead. <laughs> I was asleep. She plays a dead body so well. I, I was actually asleep. We shot that scene at, like, 3 a.m., and I was like, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pass that real quick. Uh, you guys do what you need to do. Yeah. Um, They're like, wow, she's really good. <laughs> she's really good. Like, uh, wait, is, is she okay? Is she okay? I'm like, hold she up. Okay? No, Gavin's insane in that scene. He was like, okay, now we're gonna basically have you hanging off the bridge, and then Warden's gonna pull you up. And Warden and I were like, "No, we're not doing that." Um, yeah. <laughs> so Warden, get to the top of the bridge, and we're just gonna do the whole scene. We're There's like gonna... concrete. No CGI. Like, we're just there do was it. like she would fall eight feet and hit concrete. Like we would actually kill Gwen in the same way. Like I was like, "That's you didn't that's like." That's really okay, nice. so I know that shot in the trailer at least was green screen, but like you didn't have to like climb on the bridge at all. Right. Um, or what not, What can you say, I are guess? Are we allowed to say? I don't think we're allowed to say it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I, I, I was questioning if you could, too. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Um, right. But I would have so, died if I had done what Gavin Yeah. Wanted. But that would yeah. be like, way more realistic. And I right, to because then you'd be actually dead. Gone, and then I would hope they would continue filming, because that would have been something else. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Actually, I think right. it's <laughs> yeah <laughs> but 
Yeah. That's how committed I am to Spider Man. <laughs> okay. Well, she's alive. We can report that I, she was a fan. Right, she's good. She's she good. made it. Um, okay, so all right, so this is the question that I, I mentioned in the beginning, but this is from Star Wars Star Wars Else Worlds. Um, if you guys could play a Star Wars character, who would it be and why? I like I think I know Mariah's movie. answer, but you think you know me? Actually, I think I know your answer. If I could cause... play any character, uh Kylo Ren. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Oh. Mm. See, mm. I really, I'm a really big Ahsoka Tano fan. Me too. Uh, I also Me watched too. all of Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Hey everyone, jumping in here really quick. So sorry about the interruption. Um, we went on a long tangent after that, and unfortunately, Tuan did not get to answer the question. We completely forgot somehow. And so here is a clip of Tuan and I. Um, unfortunately, we're on the subway, so it is very loud. But here is a here is a clip of me asking the question and and, uh, and her answering it. So yeah. So Tuan, um, well, if you could play any Star Wars character, who do you want to play? Uh, Padme. Oh, alright, Padme. <laughs> We're not gonna be able to hear this. <laughs> From Sense Dial, I believe is the name. Um, what's your favorite thing about the character you play and why? I like that she you know, doesn't really focus. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank you. I have ADHD. Jesus. I'm like <laughs> talking about focusing and I like lose my train of thought. No, that's um, fine. I do too. You're good. You're good. <laughs> MJ, like, can you repeat the question? <laughs> yes, I can. Um, What's your favorite thing about the character that you play and why? So like an aspect of the character, I guess. Uh, she's more grown up in this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. in. Favorite thing about Gwen? Um, I think again how um smart she is and how like yeah that right. again like you just don't really see very many smart characters especially for the time period she was created. Yeah, like, it was. You've got yeah, the fantastic definitely. Paper, but Sue Storm wasn't the scientist. Not at the forefront. Yeah, at all. Yeah, no. Yeah. 100%. So, yeah. I love how smart she is. And even that was like fun going through the script with like a fine tooth comb. And I was like, Kevin, you had Gwen say anyways here. And grammatically speaking, it's anyway. And he's like, mm. just you, don't, <laughs> like you don't have to come to me. I was like, I, I just needed to check. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. Um, okay. So great. This is um, second last question. But CJ, the art messiah says, um, when playing these roles, um, is there ever a moment where you get lost in the character? <laughs> so did you, I mean, I know we've talked about we've uh-huh. brought a lot of times, you guys are the characters, but is there any, <laughs> is there any moment where you get kind of lost in the role, I guess? In a good way, of course. I think the first thing we shot where I was like, oh my God, it's the characters. Um, yeah. When it was the four of us together, uh, the camera started rolling and it, it wasn't us. Like, at least mm-hmm. in my opinion, it was just, these four friends who had been friends for so long. Right. Um, and that was really, really special. I think that's the moment that I lost myself most in the character. Mm-hmm. And then a lot of the other scenes, it was drawing on per- personal experience and being more aware. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that was the one moment. And that, agree. that scene, I think, is in the first like five minutes of the movie. So people will know what scene we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, okay. So this is, uh, I'm not going to say who this is from, but you'll probably guess. Um, who is your favorite cast member, and is it Jack Wooten? <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, my favorite cast member is Jack Wooten. Okay? He's such a blast to He's work so with. He's so cool. We love Jack. Yeah. I, I, I so we cool. have, so for, for the fans, um, for people who don't know, Jack Wooten is in this film. Um, as of yet, we have no idea who he's playing. I know, obviously, you guys do, but we don't. I have I have a guess. You don't. But it's like the goblin voice. I have know. a guess. You have no idea. Have we a, don't know. Yeah, yeah. I have a guess, but I don't I don't know if I should say it because I don't want to, to pressure you guys. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep it to myself. But um, anyways, um, yeah. So the, uh, Jack Wood and shout out to Jack. Oh, yeah. um, all right. So that is the fan questions. Um, so now we will wrap it up. Um, but if you two want to describe the film in three words, go for it. <laughs> Man, three words is hard. 
Mm-hmm. Um, we can do two if it's if it's if it's. That's harder, uh, dude. <laughs> harder. Oh, you want more? Oh well, I'm thinking of like a phrase, I guess. Oh no, you can do like a describing word. I guess. Or, okay, I'll do two. Uh, I okay. think I said to her after the the trailer came out when I was crying. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all were. Yeah. Um, perfect timing. This is hmm. a story that especially like That's everyone relates like to the that. story of Spider Man. But now yeah. you're looking at the story of Spider-Man specifically as a drama, mm. talking about loss. We mm. all lost something. We, <laughs> we all lost something. <laughs> Especially this past year. And so I think um, this story of putting yourself back together and what that means to move forward through loss mm. and what yeah. those different stages are like and how people deal with it differently. Um, it is so important. And the timing is just perfect. I think especially in 2022, as I think we're really rebuilding, it's going to be something that's relevant to everyone who's watching in a yeah. really personal way. Mm-hmm. I got no, it. I, I couldn't agree more. But yeah. We right. got emo. <laughs> okay. Accurate. Okay. And surprising. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the surprises. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Um, yeah. So... Um, do you have a message to the fans or something you want to say to the fans before we wrap up? We love your edits so much. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> the edits are great. I can speak for it too. The the edits yeah. are crazy. I, I, I literally get so excited to to like so hype. Um, there's so many. I go through my DMs, I like go through TikTok, I go through Twitter. Um, yeah, it's on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. TikTok, yeah. Twitter, Instagram, bro. So, Y'all were trending on Twitter. Oh my god! For like gosh. a long time. For a while. Like four hours. I know. It's why am I mad about that? <laughs> I know. Ugh, god, why? Um, yeah, no, it's it's so a cool. really warm uh, feeling to know that we're caught in this golden moment of Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, because there's, there's no so way we could much. have anticipated the video games coming out. The new, yeah. you know, what is it? No Way Home coming out. Yep. No Way Home. Yeah. Um. So it's like there's and, when you say perfect timing, like it felt like we all looked at each other and we were like, what are the odds that Gavin's dad even ended up on the I plane know. and with Aaron? Like literally, but it's so weird because it was day, it was like, was it a day after the trailer? Was it two days or like it, it was wasn't two days? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> like what? Yeah. Wow. Insane. So the message to the fans is that yeah. every every single ounce every minute every second of an edit or repost or a comment or like every ounce of support direct directly translates back to those several months of blood sweat and tears that we put into making sure that at least just a couple people got it right to see more than one person get it we just like that's such a lovely so cool yeah. i think too um just thank you to like the fans thank you for caring about um a story that matters so much to those of us involved Mm, and the accuracy and caring so much about a character that is so special um and letting us um be a part of that and cheering us on while we're trying to tell that story like that means so much um it's really special and it's not anything i ever could have anticipated yeah yeah that's great. Um, so all their socials will be in the description below. I'll probably just put the whole whole cast, all their socials. But um, but if you don't follow them on Instagram, I think you both have Twitters too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So on there, I'll, I'll drop them all in there. Um, <laughs> but um, what is next for you two, if you or from what you can say, if you have any plans? Um, uh, we're going to a party. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go hang out with uh, Jeremy and Nora. Let's go. Chris and Leah. <laughs> Cast but with the actual hour? truth of the world, I don't know if we know. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot it's all of good. just um, living it, just living this moment now, you know. Well, our lives changed so much after this, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Like my life is the the plans I had for this year were so like uh they had a completely different energy. And after this, I got to see <laughs> what the hell I was capable of. And so this year is like training arc. <laughs> Dream. yeah Let's literally go. oh my god yeah jeremy oh my god yeah jeremy's so funny with that literally it's the training arc here mm-hmm. Dude, yeah, so funny yeah yeah but uh shout out to jeremy and nora um, That's our year. yes yeah um okay so that wraps up the podcast um we went a little longer than i 
exactly want it, but that's okay. Um, but um, Tuan and Mariah, literally, thank you so much for doing this. I'm so happy we were able to to put it together. This was a lot of fun. I hope you had fun. Mm -hmm, um, yes. And apologies for the background. There's a lot of glare. Oh. Anyways, long story. Um, yeah, but thank, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for checking out the podcast. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, again, all their socials will be in the link below or in the uh, description below, whatever. And yeah, so we'll close it out there. Um, thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.